Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Tharshik Pires. Let's take a look at the headlines. President visits Jackson Anthony. Tenna water cut in Colombo tomorrow. Significant declaration in money printing expected. Authorities to probe spread of rabies among deer herd in Homa Gama. Mervyn Silva ordered to be released without furnishing bail. Humanitarian assistance for Sri Lanka. Now, diving into these stories in detail. President Ranil Vikramasinghe visited veteran artist Jackson Anthony, who was receiving treatment at the Colombo National Hospital after being injured in a tragic road accident. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board stated that a 10-hour water cut will be placed in several areas in Colombo on Saturday the 20th from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. on Sunday the 21st due to essential improvement work. As such, water supply to Colombo 5 and 6 will be interrupted while water supply will be at low pressure in Colombo 4. The NWSDB advises consumers to fill sufficient water ahead and express regret for the inconvenience caused. Central Bank expects the government's appetite for monetary financing, which is loosely known as money printing, to reduce significantly in the period ahead as a result of fiscal consolidation measures alongside with the planned reforms in state-owned enterprises. As of August 17, CB's holdings of government securities only increased by Rs 2.57 billion when compared to a record of Rs 150 billion increase in July. On an average, the CBs printed at least Rs 100 billion for government's financing requirements except in February. Public Health Veterinary Service Director Dr. L.D. Kitsuri stated that attention has been drawn to the spread of rabies among a herd of deers in the Homagama area. He said the health authorities have already launched an investigation into the deaths of 15 deers from the herd. Investigations revealed that two deers were infected by rabies. Dr. Kitsuri stated that there is no need to panic. Former Minister Mervyn Silva was arrested over an incident that took place at Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation in 2007 and was ordered yesterday to be released without furnishing bail by Colombo Chief Magistrate's Court. Minister of International Development and the Pacific, Pat Conroy, stated that Australia will provide an additional $25 million to help Sri Lanka meet urgent food and healthcare needs as it confronts its worst economic crisis in 70 years. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You are with me, Tarshi Pires. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.